everyone and welcome back to my channel. I'm Justice and you're at The Pink Herring. So I am doing a prime wardrobe. This is my first ever prime wardrobe um, personal shopper subscription box. So this is um, a try before you buy a subscription from Amazon. So you do have to have Amazon Prime and then I believe you have to do this through your app. This is how I have done it. Um, but if you're not familiar, you get a huge box, which I will show you here in a minute. And please forgive me, I have already opened it. I haven't looked at anything, but I filmed this intro earlier and the light was not good. So I redid it. Um, but so you take a survey and, the, and our stylist will curate items just for you. I am pretty sold on the fact that the stylists are um, maybe computer generated. The items were kind of what I wanted, but they weren't exactly what I wanted. Um, and they had some good pieces. So I'm anxious to see what it looks like. And how I know what the stylus items are is that you preview your picks and only ship the ones you love. So they give you like, I don't know, I think I maybe got 20 items on my list. And you can only pick eight patterns, things like that. And then you try and at home and only pay for what you want. Returns are easy. And so it did send me this little book like this. So it gives me a list of the order items as well on here. And I will read those to you with the price. So let's see how the first box goes. Hey guys, this is a big box. This is our box. Do you see in there? It is huge. It's jam packed. So I'm just going to pull from the top. All of the items are individually wrapped like you get from Amazon. And so let's go ahead and take a look at the items. I don't remember what this one is, but I don't remember what all of them are. So this will be fun to try to remember. Um, so this is Star Vixen Women's Plus Size Midi Full Skater Skirt in purple. And this is a 1X. So it may be hard to see on camera. I wasn't 100% sold when I saw this. Um, it looked really long in the pictures. And as you guys know, I'm short. And so mini skirts have to hit me at a pretty good length uh, for me to really like them. The material, I don't know, can you guys see through that? It seems kind of thin. Um, I don't think you guys can see through it. Um, but I can see through it. Um while I'm holding it, but then it's also very heavy. So this is not a light skirt. It is a very pretty purple though. I don't wear a lot of purple. I don't have a lot of purple items. So this would be very fun um, to add to the wardrobe. That is 23.31. Sangria, women's plus size, high, low, flounce, ivory, black dress. And this is a size 20. Um, I guess my size, I vary in sizes when it comes to um, dresses, especially ordering online. So this is the dress, beautiful, beautiful polka dot lace. This is definitely more spring, more, um, maybe wedding, going to a wedding or a bridal shower or a baby shower. So we'll definitely try this one on. So our next item is, um, I think this might also be a dress. And I believe this, if this is the dress, this is also my most expensive item on here. Um, so this is, well, let me find the tag. Yes, the Gabby Sky Women's Plus Short Sleeve Printed Ruffle Dress in Ivory and Beat, size 18 is what I ordered and they did send me a 20. So um, I did order an 18 and they sent me a 20. Um, this one is $55. Let's see if we can find the top of it. Okay. So very, very roughly. So we have these big sleeves. I didn't realize this whenever I was ordering it. I'm not a huge fan of sleeves like this. Um, when I lift my arms, I don't like my arm to fall out of my shirt, and that's how I feel. Um, but it does have this really beautiful ruffling down the front. It does have this belt, um, and it is cinched at the waist here. Not, that's not forgiving at all. Maybe it's a good thing they sent me a 20. 
we shall see. And then it is very, very roughly at the bottom here. We can get it out. There we go. So we'll try that one on. And again, that one was the most expensive at $55.26. Our next item, I don't remember what this is, to be honest. Um, it feels like a sweater material. I might may have ordered a sweater. It is a sweater from Lark and Row. And this is $16.12. This is the women's buckle turtleneck oversized sweater in ivory in a 2X. So it has the kind of the cowl, cowl neck uh, going on here. Very soft, very, um, very thin sweater sweater material I mean this is not seem heavy this would be perfect for spring I think this box is really kind of driving more towards a spring feel it does have some wider sleeves which are interesting um but we'll try this on and see how it looks so I'm really liking this part this one right here I don't know what it is but I really like it apparently I liked it because enough to put it in my order um, this appears to be the three quarter length. Yes, Juno Rose Women's Plus Size Lazia three quarter sleeve blouse, blue wing teal, and a size 18. This is $42.88. So, oh, that looks very big. Um, beautiful, beautiful sleeve. So, they have this, they have a, a lace material on the bell sleeve very pretty i like how the the pattern goes a different direction on the sleeve we have a v-neck here and then the bottom it's kind of like a peplum and it does have that lace again okay let's see what's next so we have something camo covered so this is well, City Chic. Okay, City Chic Women's Apparel, Women's Plus Size Printed Collar Top with Button Down Detail and Camo $42.74. So if you can see, we have, it's like a very pretty camo, like a camo you could wear to work camo. Um, nice ruffle on the sleeve here. And then it comes down into a ruffly sleeve. So it kind of has a ruffle and then a ruffle. And then this sleeve is, is a transparent. It has like a mesh in the inside to make it um, less see-through, less transparent, if I could get it here. Um, except for on the sleeves. But I would maybe still wear a cami underneath. And here's the length here. Nice uh, circle hem, it appears. So we'll try this one on and see how it looks. City Chic Women's Apparel Plus Size Sheer Top with Ruffle Front Detail and Elastic Back and Snow Leopard. So the only thing, I, I'm not a huge fan of the elastic sleeve. It has a lot of elastic, a lot of give to it though, which is great. Um, it has a nice v-neck. And the back is that elastic. Um, this can either look really good and like cinch, or it could not. So we'll try this on, um, see how that looks. So this is by Gabby Sky. So obviously I had kind of a couple, um, a couple brands that they were really keeping the same with. Oh, this is, I did get the one in Beat. Oh, they sent me. So the dress, the Gabby Sky Women's Plus Size Short Sleeve Ruffle Dress um, that I was supposed to receive an 18, they sent me an 18 and they sent me a 20. So that's very interesting. So I guess I get to try on whichever one. Maybe they didn't know. I don't remember. I don't know why I did this. Um, so I'll get to try on both of them and see which one fits better. So let's get to try it on. Hey everyone, so we have the first item. I wanted to show you the sweater with like typical jeans 
And then I was going to put it on with that purple midi skirt. So, um, this is the sweater. It's very thin, but it's very warm. I, after feeling it, it's almost like a, um, an afghan material. It's very big though. They said oversized and they did get oversized. Um, so it's what it looks like. I almost feel like you can see the outline of my bra. Um, it is that sort of thin material. So you can tuck this in if you want. I'm not really a tucker, but you absolutely can tuck it in, kind of make it more slouchy, pull it out, wear it oversized. Um, overall, it's an okay sweater. I think this is what, $16. So it's not a bad price. Would I wear it? Do I wear a lot of white? Maybe for spring, maybe when it's a little bit cooler. Um, my cat's trying to make an escape out of the bedroom. Um, so I will, let me try this on with the skirt and see if I like this a little bit better. Okay guys, so here's that same white sweater and here is that purple uh, mini skirt. I actually really like the length of this skirt. Um, it was really heavy taking it out of the bag, but it, it doesn't feel heavy on. It's very flowy, it's very, it's very light. I do like this. I think this is a good color that you could do for fall, or this could be a really good transition from the winter to the spring that we have. And I really like this top with it. So I left the back out, so it would, I didn't tuck it all the way in, but you could absolutely tuck it all the way in if you wanted to. Uh, but I did just tuck it in. I did, whenever I tucked it in, the skirt material was a little thin and you could see the bunching of the, of the sweater just because it's a little bit thicker. Um, so I did smooth that out. But overall, I really like these two together. I think this is great if you, you could put on tights for fall, you could do it for spring. Um, I just, I think I really like these two and I think the skirt was maybe $20 or so too. So not a bad combination for both. Let's try on the next one. Okay guys, so here is that dress that they sent me both the 18 and the 20 in. I went ahead and put the 20 on and I'm glad I did. Um, there's not much give in the in the rib cage area here. Um, I, I would not have been able to fit into the 18, I don't believe. So I appreciate that I did get the 20 as well. Um, I don't like that this is rolling over and showing the white. I'm not sure why it's doing that. But the, this is a button detail, so I will button it and show you. Um, the buttons are sewn on the white part, and so I think that might be why that white detail is showing, but there is a button detail with the ruffles. You can maybe try to cover it up, maybe. It looks fine. Um, like I said, I wasn't a huge fan of these sleeves because I, I don't like when my arms um, show right there. But overall, I think this is a really flattering shape. Um, it's not too long. Like I said, I'm 5'2", so I'm pretty short. It does have the, um, this bow. I bet it could come to the front. I feel like there was a lot going on in the front. It didn't need to come up there, but overall, I think this is a really, really nice shape. Um, if I remember correctly, this one was maybe the most expensive at 55 Double check. So I don't know if it's 50 to $5 worth. Um, but overall, it's a very fun, flattering shape and color for spring. Let's try the next one. So here is the other dress. Um, I didn't realize it kind of did this, not off the shoulders kind of look, but more of a kind of off the shoulders boat kind of look. So it does do that. The sleeves are beautiful. It has, um, doesn't have the white underneath. It's just a lace with these little ruffles. I think that is really precious. The only thing is you wouldn't be able to wear a bra, as you can see, my, my bra shop had to slide it down. You wouldn't be able to wear a normal bra with this. Just when I put one on, it cut off right here. And then maybe just my bra. Maybe I'd wear a strapless one. Um, overall, this is very comfortable. Um, I don't feel awkward in it. I don't feel stuffy in it. Sometimes in lace dresses, you can feel a little restricted, but I don't. Um, I feel very comfortable. So here's the back. So it is a high-low. Um, not a huge fan of high low because I am short and I don't need to make myself look shorter. But I really do like this material. I really do like the way this feels. This is just an easy dress. For me personally, I don't know if this is a dress that I would wear. Like, I, I'm thinking of work situations. Um, I do work somewhere where I have to dress up every day and so I'm not sure that this would be something that I would want to wear. Like I mentioned earlier, it might be good for something like a, a baby shower, a bridal shower, a wedding, something like that. Maybe not necessarily going to work. It's a little more dressy for that, but very springy. 
which is something that I'm really appreciating with this Amazon Prime box is they really did it around what season we're going into. We've gotten through the winter and now we're going into spring and we need all those flowy fun dresses and I really like that they're doing that. So this was this dress. I really liked it. I think the price point was pretty good on this too. Maybe $20 or $30. I'll have to double check. I'll recap at the end. But I think we have a couple shirts so let's go to those. Okay so this was this really beautiful kind of farmhouse chic bell sleeve top with the lace. Um, the sleeves are gorgeous. This is gorgeous. The pattern, this striping is gorgeous. And then we get to this. This is not stretchy at all. This does not move. Um, it's uncomfortable. And I feel like I gained 10 pounds putting this on. I mean, it's just this, this line that it's putting on me right here. It's like, it's not a very good flattering fit on me. Um, otherwise, if they didn't have this weird band right here, this would be beautiful. I've worn peplum tops. I enjoy them. Um, this is not one of them. And it might be because the fabric is so constricting. I love the ticking, though. I love this farmhouse ticking. I love the lace. I had really, really high hopes for this. But this is just not working out. So here's the back of it. And I just put this on with jeans, pretty casual, which I really liked it with the jeans. I was like, oh, I'm going to love this. I'm just not sold. So this one's not staying. Okay. This is terrible. Um, first off, the tank top underneath is entirely too small or something. It's, it's not, it's, it's long. It's just snug. Um, it's also not, it is, the straps are stuck onto the shirt and they're very, very big. And so it keeps sliding and then you can see it. This is the highest button you can see. I'm, I don't like the tank top already. Um, I also don't like the shirt in general. So here's the back with this cinch. Um, I feel like I have to pull it down so it doesn't pucker. The ruffles, I mean, it's, I think there's just a lot going on in this shirt uh, and they should have just reeled it back a little bit. So like the puffy sleeves with the elastic, the print, there's flecks of silver. If you guys can see the flecks of silver in there, the white tank top, the ruffles down the front, it separates weirdly. I'm not a fan of this. Um, I don't think this is flattering. It's not comfortable. It took me like five minutes to get into because of the whole tank top situation and I just wanted to rip it, put the tank top on separate, um, and not even worry about it, but I can't because they're sewn on there. Um, so this is just, this is not flattering on me. Maybe someone has a, like a longer torso. This would look great on. Um, but I think this is just for, for someone with a shorter torso like I do, it's just not working out. So I think we have one more shirt left. And then let's recap. Okay, so this was the camo um, button up top. I feel a little bit like I am in a marching band. Um, these extra ruffles, I really liked them when I was holding up the top, um, but I am not a fan of them. Um, now on, it looks like I have shoulder pads or something going on. Also, this shirt doesn't have any give in it. Um, which is typical of this kind of material. It's like the, the very thin, I don't, kind of organza type material. I don't know how to describe it. But because of that, I have some major gapping here on the chest. I'm used to that, but I wear tops that either don't have buttons, um, which is something that I notate in my subscription boxes. I didn't even notice this when I was ordering it. I just think I really liked the print. Um, overall, though, I mean, I, I like... The rest of the, the fit, okay, it is a little snug, but um, the shoulder, the ruffles, just making an appearance. It's just not, <laughs> it's not working out for me. This is also our model, uh, Puri, in case you're wondering. She likes to, to model her, her chunky self. So I'm just not sold on this one either. Um, not, not digging the buttons, not digging the gap. I don't like shirts that I have to safety depend and build a rhythm. So let's recap on what we tried on. Okay guys, don't mind the wild hair we have going on now. 
from taking the clothes on and off. <laughs> so, um, we have gone through the f first ever that we have received Prime Wardrobe Personal Shopper. Um, so I'm going to review um, the items. What I liked and did not like about them. What I liked compared to other subscription boxes. And then our final thoughts. So, we had this white oversized sweater. If I can get to the top here. Maybe. So we had this white oversized sweater and it had this, this cowl neck and these wider sleeves. So I really liked this. I liked this more when I put it on, on with the skirt. I, I really liked it with the skirt. I don't know what it was, if it was just like channeling spring or, or what was going on there. Um, but this oversized top oversized sweater is $16 and 12 cents. And this was Lark and Row women's buckle turtleneck oversized sweater. And this was in a two X. Um, if you like sweaters more form fitting, maybe don't get an oversized sweater, but you could probably, if you're around my size, get a one and, and make it work. Um, I really liked this though. So I am going to get the sweater and I am going to get this purple, um, this purple skirt. I don't wear a lot of purple. It was kind of, even seeing it right now, even though I tried it on and I loved it, even seeing it right now is kind of scary. It's a very royal purple, if you can see it in the light. Very royal. Um, again, this was from Star Vixen. Um, it, it seemed very heavy when I took it out of the bag. It seems very heavy here, but on it wasn't. It was, it was very light. So that Star Vixen midi full skater skirt in the purple and a 1X was $23.31. So not bad at all. So you could make a total outfit for less than 40 bucks. That's awesome. You could add some jewelry, have some fun, some purple jewelry, some gold. Gold would be beautiful with this. Make a nice gold statement necklace. That would be beautiful. Um, so I'm going to keep these two. Um, I'm on the fence about a couple of dresses, um, actually the two of the dresses, and then kind of go over why the shirts were a miss for me. But and the last one we tried on was this really pretty camo, the frill shoulder um, top. I had really high hopes for this whenever I tried this on. I was like, I'm going to really enjoy this. This did not, this did not work. Um, it didn't fit well. Um, I really liked the sleeves. I really liked the pattern. I really, really liked this deconstructed almost type camel, camo, excuse me, um, camel. Um, I really liked that. The fit just wasn't for me. It didn't work well with my body shape. I just, I felt like I was in a marching band, um, like that SpongeBob episode. <laughs> I just didn't, I wasn't, uh, I wasn't about it. So this one again was the City Chic Women's Apparel Women's Plus Size Printed Collared Top with Button Down Detail Camo Command was the color. This was $42.74. I, even if I, the fit was amazing, I don't know if I would spend $42.74. I'm just not a fan of this one, so this one is going to return to Amazon. Um, our other one. So we have this one. This is the one with that dreaded white cami. I said so this is, I, I couldn't take it apart. Um, this is another City Chic. So I now know that the City Chic brand is maybe not for me. And don't mind this wild hair. <laughs> Pulling those shirts on and off. Um, the City Chic style is maybe just, it's not my, my cut, my my style at all. I'll be honest, I didn't even try to put this back in properly. The tank top, I could, it just, the tank top was a mess. <laughs> so this one was the Other City Chic Apparel um, Plus Size Sheer Top with Ruffle Front Detail and Elastic Back in the color Snow Leopard. This was a size 18 and this was $28.87. For me, I'm going to return this to Amazon. So we also had this beautiful farmhouse ticking navy blue shirt with the bell sleeves and the beautiful lace and 
this is beautiful. This is beautiful on the hanger. This was not beautiful on me. Um, I think some people could probably pull this off. I think it's just where, where the elastic, it wasn't even elastic. This is not elastic. This is not stretchy. So I think it's just where that band hit me just didn't work out. Someone could rock this 100% and I want to see it. So if anybody has the shirt um, or they're going to buy the shirt, send me a picture of it because tag me in a post or something. I would love, love, love to see what you guys look in it because it's how you guys look in it because it's beautiful. So our dresses. Um, I really liked the dresses, but maybe that's because I'm 100% completely over winter right now. Um, it's been so cold in Missouri and I'm just ready for spring. So we did have um, this dress here, um, our polka dot dress, if I can get this button hooked on here. So the polka dot dress, I really liked how it was not an off the shoulder, but a, it showed more of the collarbone. I really liked that. I really liked these beautiful sleeves and how this was all had a backing and then this didn't and it was all this really, really beautiful lace. And then the fact that they added these black polka dots over this lace just made this dress so different. Why I think I'm not going to keep it. Um, I just don't think it was 100% the most flattering dress for me. Um, the high and low, I felt like it was a little too low in the, or I'm sorry, a little too high in the back for me. Um, I think I loved the top, but this weird line that it had, um, around the midsection just kind of chopped me off, made me look a little, a little more blockier. And so for that, I think I'm going to, I'm going to give this one back. I'm going to return this one back to Amazon. The dress they sent me two of. Um, I'm glad it doesn't have the both of them on here, so I don't know how if it just got accidentally mixed in or, or or if they just happened to know maybe that I between two sizes. I don't know. I loved this. I felt really comfortable and confident in it. I liked the cut. Um, this dress is the most expensive item on here at $55.26. Um, so I'm going to have to decide if this is something that, you know, that I'm going to wear and get some use out of. Um, for the $55 price tag because it is the most expensive one on my list. My final thoughts of the Amazon Prime Wardrobe Personal Shopper. Um, I really, really enjoyed um, the whole process. So when you sign on, it doesn't take too long for you to be able to go ahead and they send you the list of items that they would like to send you like, hey, these are the things we think you'll like. And then you're able to preview those picks and choose the ones that you want it to do. You kind of get a preview of what you like and don't like. Unlike the majority of the other subscription boxes, they just send you things blindly. Well, there's a lot of fun to that as well. So I think it's a couple of different things. If you're kind of looking for something specific, if you're kind of looking for maybe a certain outfit or you're going on a certain event or a vacation, you're looking for certain staple pieces or something along those lines, this might be a great route to go because you kind of get to pick and choose. You go through several different style quizzes. You can do, it's almost like a tender uh, for clothes, this or that, this or that. And so you, they really get to know your style. Like I said, I think it's probably, um, I just lost an earring. <laughs> I think it is probably computer generated um, because there's no special note. Um, there's nothing that indicates, hey, this was styled by Natasha. So I don't know how, how they really get, maybe you just take such an extensive quiz that they really know. So with that being said, um, I really enjoyed this box. I'm going to continue this and see what happens in the next few months. See what, if they keep doing the spring and the summer fall or the spring and summer items and then fall the items. Um, but I really enjoyed this. So out of it, out of the eight items they sent me, I'm going to keep three of them. So that's a, that's good for me. I mean, it's really hard for me to find clothes anyway. So that's awesome. So, um, I will, I will try to link if there's anything to link on here, I will. Um, it is amazon.com, but you have to do the personal shopper by Prime Wardrobe and the Amazon app. 
So um, I'll put the description there. If you guys get any of these clothing items, please tag me in them. I'll, I'll link all of the social media down below. Um, please, if you've enjoyed this video, hit the like button and subscribe. Uh, and then get the bell so you get notifications whenever I upload again. I'm going to post a lot of videos of me trying on clothes. I think that's really important in today's world is having other plus size people you can look at who are all kinds of different body shapes trying on clothes and what works best for them. Um, because it's really hard to find clothes that fit um, somebody who's plus size but also through subscription boxes. So if you're interested in something like that, also have a little bit of fashion and DIY thrown in. I'd love to uh, have you follow and we can kind of share ideas together. If you guys have any comments below on the outfits, please let me know. Otherwise, I'll see you guys later. Bye!